Hello again, my friends. I'm back with another cool crafting video, and today I'm going to kick off a new video series on dungeon and town crafting scattered terrain. That's right, tables, benches, bookshelves, books, all the nifty items that make a room really immersive and playable. I was talking about like a pretty necklace or a nice hat, you know, something to make the other girls go, Ooh, that's nice. I've been super busy getting back to work after my surgery and doing a lot of commission work. Check this out. So that's just a sneak peek. For the full video, it'll be coming out soon. I'm gonna call it what I've been 3D printing this week, although it's gonna be more than one week. It'll be like two weeks. Uh, but anyway, stay tuned for that. For now, I wanna talk about tables, stools, and benches. All made from cheap dollar store or thrift store items, things that you can find around the house. It is a super fun, easy craft for all ages you too can craft awesome scatter furnishings for your dungeons, for your towns, for your adventures. But before we get into all of that, let's pause for a little station identification. Welcome to the Real Killer DM channel, a channel dedicated to the pursuit of fun through tabletop gaming. So we're going to start with these super easy benches and tables. I'm not sure where I first saw this one. I think it was either Wylock's Armory or Black Magic Craft. I truly can't remember now, but no matter. For this project, you're gonna need dollar store Jenga blocks, glue, wood glue or PVA works best, silver paint, and a black Sharpie. First things first, I glued two of the Jenga blocks together side by side. I used a brush to make sure I have a nice even coat, but you could just put it straight on out of the bottle. Next, I glued a third piece on top dead center and voila, you have the table. For the benches, I just use a single Jenga block, easy peasy, all done with the building. And since I had everything already out, I just went ahead and made a few more. And painting is just as easy. I simply dunked all of my pieces in a medium brown wash and once they were dry, I painted on a silver banding across both sides. I then added a few black dots with a sharpie and that was to simulate rivets. And once I was finished, this project is all done. Well, that's it for this short video. I hope you've enjoyed it and if you have, show me some love. Smash that like button and as always, we would love to welcome you as a new member to the Killer Family. Also, turn on notifications so you don't miss the next video in this series. I'm going to be making scrying tables for my mage's room. Until then, keep on gaming, America.